The question is, what's your email signature? How do you convert your initial, how do you convert your initial outreach into clients? This is a very good question. Uh, so if you are trying to target more than one market, it's very difficult because if you're speaking to two different audiences, they're going to find you online in various places. And if it's not 100% clear that you're focused on that vertical, it's easy to confuse them or make them to kind of undercut your own message. So you're taking something that should be really focused and you're making it really blurry. So for me, I have this problem because I help people doing coaching like this and I sell that to independent software developers, but I also am selling products and services to like the C-level executives at credit unions. So, you know, how do I do that? Uh, so I have two different websites. My credit union website is jonathanstark.com because that's where I've been doing mobile consulting for over a decade. And I created a new website for coaching stuff called Expensive Problem. That's fine because I can send traffic to either one of those things and I can make each site completely appropriate to the audience and not force them to like dig through and figure out what the heck is going on. But there are problems like social media. What do you do with social media profiles, especially when they're under your personal name, which in my case they are. What do you do with email signatures? What do you do about uh, your LinkedIn profile? So what I did was I just made LinkedIn is a place where my credit union people spend a lot of time. So that whole profile on LinkedIn, my whole profile on LinkedIn is just about credit unions and mobile strategy. So, you know, if they search for me online, they'll probably find my credit union website and they'll probably see my credit union LinkedIn. If they land on my Twitter, it's going to be confusing because they'll probably think it's not the same person because it's not to them at all. It's totally for software developers. If they go to expensiveproblem.com, they're going to be like, this is a different person. So um, in my email signature, this is funny because I don't have multiple emails. I only have one. So when I'm emailing credit unions, I change it. Or well, actually my default one is the credit union one that has a link to jonathanstark.com. And if I'm emailing any of my coaching students or folks like y'all, um, first of all, they always know, you usually always know that um, I target credit unions, so they're not confused when they are like, oh, wait, what's this credit union thing? Because I talk about it all the time. And the other thing is I'll change it. So sometimes I do manually update my signature based on who I'm sending the email to. Uh, so second half of this question is how do you convert your initial outreach into clients? So initial outreach, the goal of the initial outreach is to get a conversation going. Once I have a conversation going, the goal is to get them on the phone and see if there's a good fit. So if there's a good fit, then they're naturally going to want to move forward because it's just a it's, it's a collaboration. I'm not I'm not trying to sell them anything. I never do that. I never try to convince somebody that oh you should really hire me. I always try to talk them out of hiring me. Give them all the cheaper options they possibly can. So by the time yeah, I basically qualify them out as much as I can. So by the time I have to take the time to write a proposal, I they're almost always close right away. 